welcome to the back of the net match day vlog it's me sam hey it's tiggs how you doing we're in the center of bournemouth look we got here a bit early the half past five kickoffs mean we can have a few drinks in town and today mate it's the tune Ooh. how are you feeling about it it's exciting it's exciting i'm feeling good about it i think i've obviously had uh, i've had a couple already so I'm, <laughs> I'm getting a full sense of confidence but uh no i'm feeling good about it i feel like um We've had a lot of bad luck recently with yeah. injuries and stuff, and I feel a little. I felt really glum about that, but I'm just hoping that today things turn around. Newcastle are not in the greatest shape, are they? They're not. They're not. Look, the tune are there for the taking. They've got a load of players out. They're depleted. That's what we said on our preview. By the way, Tiggs, do you remember when this club over here oh, was was mate. the cage, the zoo and cage, it. and zoo then it became cage. Elements. Now it's Cameo and what? Vinyl? Mayu? Vinyl. Yeah, Mayu. These, and then, oh. Which one was? That was the Artful Dodger, wasn't it? The what, down uh, there? slam bar. Back yeah. there, residential accommodation. Oh my or God. Was it? Was it? I, I can't confused. remember. Was either way, either way, we've had a, a couple of beers already. Went to the uh, Moon in the Square and then Mary Shelley. But we're on our way to Dean Court. We may go via a few other places, but hopefully we'll bump into Geordie's on the way, eh? I hope so, I hope so. They're friendly people, as is Eddie Howe, who will undoubtedly not want to beat us. <laughs> Other chance. You are my son. You are my sunshine. arrives at the George Taps outside in the beer garden by yeah. the way just seen the uh, score from earlier I'm not sure oh, if you've seen man. it have you seen it uh, Wolves beat Spurs Wolves 2 Spurs 1 should we get Gary Neal back mate <laughs> what was that stream you were on last night was it I was called? on uh, Football's 12 Man Podcast Football's 12 Man Podcast and he said that Wolves are going to get dragged down into the relegation scrap with us egg on face definitely I think yeah. not good <laughs> Right, we're just here at the George Taps with Joe. Joe, how are you, mate? Yeah, very good, thanks. Yourself? Very good. Uh, look, we could make this an Eddie Howe loving, but do we want to? Look, we, we, he's been at St James Park two years now. Two years, yeah. It's fair to say you're doing all right, yeah? The job he's done is absolutely incredible. Uh, what he's achieved in such a short, short space of time, from Butland relegation to the Champions League, phenomenal. Can't speak high enough of him. How are you feeling about the game today? Because, I mean, your squad, mate, is depleted, isn't it? Players out, having youth players on the bench against Dortmund and Callum Wilson 50-50 for today. We don't know who's going to be playing or not. How do you feel about your chances today? Yeah, it's going to be tough. Um, with Between injuries and suspensions, like you mentioned, it's going to be really tough. I'm expecting prediction will probably be 1-1 draw. And what are your hopes for the season? Because trying to progress in the Champions League group is going to be hard, maybe. You probably need to win at PSG if you do. But for the league as well, I mean, what are your thoughts of a good season? What's a good season? Maybe winning the Carabao Cup this time? Maybe. Hopefully go one step further. Um, in terms of cup progression, keep progressing, building as a club. Hopefully get out of the Champions League group, whether that's in the next stage of the Champions League or dropping into the Europa League. But just keep, keep building, keep pushing forward, keep going forward. Right, we've got Newcastle fan Alfie here. How are you, mate? You all right? Good. Um, two years on from Eddie Howe arriving at Newcastle, how are your feelings changed about the club? Because it's fair to say that it's going well for him and it's going well for Newcastle, eh? Yeah, he's, he's like, he's took the club to the Champions League and got them from an early in relegation to Champions League Pretty good, and uh, Russ's dad's here. Yeah. Um, things are looking good on Tyneside at the moment. Oh. I mean, like, is he an upgrade on Steve Bruce? Oh, anybody's <laughs> an upgrade on Steve Bruce, he's bloody terrible. Uh, uh, anybody's an upgrade on him. Like, What's your hopes for this season? Like, What would be a successful season for you? Top six. Top six, Top yeah? Top six. Yeah. And maybe a cheeky Carabao Cup win? Oh, that would be like, yeah. oh, that would be nice. Pub done. We've had a little crawl today. It's been quite nice, it's isn't it? Nice. We've, yeah, yeah. We've bumped into a, a few Geordies, which has been great. I've been asking them about what represents a successful season. At this stage, Tiggs, what represents a successful season for us? 
And given where we are, <laughs> at is, this it, stage. is it just being above that dotted line? Yeah, I mean, fourth from bottom would be uh, absolutely ideal. I take it. I mean, I genuinely think that last season's predictions or, uh, you know, kind of uh, aspirations from Bill Foley yeah. to, a, above, to finish above where we finished last season, they kind of feel like they're out of the water now. Yeah. It doesn't feel like it's going to happen unless somebody has a really bad run of games. Mm. Dragging teams down into where we are, it just doesn't seem like it's going to happen at all. Uh, so, yeah, I would take uh, 17th right now, yeah. um, which is a shame, but it's going to take a lot of time. Well, I think the, the turnover of players has been a lot. The turnover of manager is significant and yet still hasn't got his backroom staff that perhaps he wants either. Yeah, I agree. It's whether he's given the time. Mm. Very much so. Right, we are on our way to Dean Court. We're walking down Holdness Road. About 20 minutes away. About 20 minutes. Can we do it in 20 minutes? Uh, if we stretch it out, yeah, big steps. Whoa! Big steps. <laughs> <laughs> Hopefully it's not going to be a circus at Dean Court today, eh? Hey. Sound. Right, so we've just had a quick swifty at the Queen's Park Look. We are less than an hour towards kickoff, and we've heard the team news, but Tiggs, I think you've had enough airtime today. I've had enough airtime. And to be honest, mate, I can't concentrate on the game because right now my biggest problem in my life is that I can't watch enough French TV. Yeah. Have you got any solutions? Actually, yes, I have. We're nearly at Dean Court, but before we get to the stadium, I need to tell you a little bit about NordVPN, who are backing back of the net, just like we're backing the boys against Newcastle United this afternoon. It's a huge game. So do you know what a VPN is? It's a downloadable app and program. I mean, I've got it on my iPad, got it on my MacBook, laptop. You can also put it on your Fire Stick because I watch a lot of football on my Fire Stick. But why would I need NordVPN for it though? Well, by having a VPN, you have increased privacy, no one can see your IP, plus you're protected from malware and all those horrible little ad trackers that you get. But the feature that I like the most is the fact that you can choose your own virtual location as well. Look, sometimes when I'm abroad or can't access services like BBC iPlayer, all I need to do is just connect and then I can see what I want to see. I can see Match of the Day. And even if you switch it to somewhere like the USA, you can see content libraries on services like Netflix, giving you an extra range of programs. It's so good. It's built around privacy. It's got threat protection shields built in as well. Well handy. Plus, it encrypts all of your online activities as well, making sure you're nice and safe online. Now, with Back of the Net, you can get an exclusive deal. If you take out a two-year plan, you'll get four months extra for free. Just go to the link below. It's nordvpn.com forward slash AFCB. It's risk-free, plus you get a 30-day money-back guarantee. But also, this month as well, you'll be supporting Movember. Now, you'll have seen at the Carabao Cup game against Liverpool, Tom was sporting his Movember tash. And it's important because men's mental health and suicide prevention is a massive issue. On average, across the world, we lose one man every minute to suicide. That's half a million men every year. Plus prostate cancer. More than 375,000 men around the world die each year from it. Globally, more than 1.4 million are diagnosed every year. Testicular cancer too. It's the most common cancer in men aged between 15 and 39. By signing up for Movember, new and recurring NordVPN customers will have the chance to contribute to the cause. It's worth doing. Right, let's get to the game. Come on. There it is. The floodlights are on. We're ready for this. A very quick chat. We've got Simon here. Uh, we're going to have a quick chat about the Bournemouth team and we're going to move over to... Uh, ben for the for the Newcastle team. So uh, Simon, if, a, li if a little change there, we got um, different goalkeeper coming. In. Neto coming back, he's earned his place yeah. back. Do you think that's justified? Well, I don't know. I mean, I think it's okay. He's got an injury, and he was the main goalie to start with. So you've kind of got to put him back. You've got to give him the chance, haven't you? Yeah. Um, obviously, Travers is on the bench, so I don't know what's happening with Radu. Is that kind of because they want to give him a chance to say, look, we have brought him back and at least he's on the bench? Oh, kind of weird if we give him some minutes, wouldn't it? Yeah, really? it would be. It would be kind um, of weird. But yeah, that's interesting, and the lineup's interesting. Is it a 4 3 3? 
yeah. uh, that was my first reaction when I saw the uh, team come out. And, and Kelly at left back by the looks of things? Yes. Why um, is that, do you think? Any idea? Well, I thought before the game that the only reason why that would be is because of how uh, good Trippier is on an overlap. Okay. So similar like with Burnley, it wasn't get the right pace. back, it was the kind of the intelligence to be able to drift back yeah. and get pace in reverse. Ben, can we bring you in to talk about yeah. uh, the, you know, the Newcastle team? So the Newcastle team, now Eddie Howe, when he was mm. with us, would have a little tendency to say that a player, for example, Steve Fletcher, was injured mm -hmm. and then he'd play. But yeah. in this case, Callum Wilson, yeah. is he around? No, he's not, not oh, even okay. on the bench. Um, very changed Newcastle team. Lewis Miley, I think he's 18 years old. I know wow. my mate, Geordie Josh, if you're watching this, shout out to you, because that's only how I know him, because apparently he's a very, very good, talented young player okay. in midfield. Um, but yeah, no Liveramento, and apparently he's been great for them um, when he's played, but very, very changed. Very, It's far from their strongest lineup. But yeah, I know, they beat Man United 3-0 with a weekend lineup. So we've got to wait and see. I'm, I'm obviously more confident now. Yeah. But I, I, again, it's I mean, Bournemouth. All right, Tom. From what you've seen, what do you make of the lineup? Uh, yeah, a bit surprised. Why? Well, obviously Billings out is the main surprise. Yeah. And I think if we had said in the week uh, Billings out, then we'd go, okay, Roppo's in. But he's not. He's playing Cliver by the looks of it in the ten. Christie a bit deeper. I'm not convinced on that. But they've got they've got enough injuries. So we'll see what happens. Um, it's a shame, saw the results earlier, Everton got a last minute winner at Palace, Ugh. which hurts us, but luckily Arsenal and United got the wins. So we need to win today and pull, pull Fulham in a little bit, they got Villa tomorrow, so hopefully that'll help, but I'm, yeah, I'm more annoyed about Neto, but hopefully you can prove me wrong. Why? All I will say is, we've decided that, you know what, this Radu at Inter Milan, he looks like a good loan, when he can't get on our bench. It's so weird, like... Radu's not on the bench. We often see that, don't we? Like right. players just being dropped out of the squad for no reason. But. Yeah, I just at the end of the day, Neto's been injured, so you go, okay, what was his last game? Well, he gave Wolves a win, and he's been rewarded with a start today. So yeah, a bit surprised, but hopefully this comes back to bite me, and hopefully Neto has a really good game. Um, yeah, and surprises me. But at the moment, yeah, I'd, I think a point at the moment. I think a one-all draw. We're yeah. seconds away from probably walking into the stadium right now. Uh, how are you feeling about this? Is, is this something we can get some points from or not? Oh, I don't want to be deluded, but I am confident. <laughs> I don't know why. Like, as we get closer to the kickoff, it's yeah, weird, isn't I know. it? Because yeah. normally, as we get closer to the kickoff, we get more, more unconfident. But yeah, I'm confident. Go on then. 3 0 win. Come on. Up the chairs. The teams are coming out. Let's get in there, come on. Ben is voicing into the ball already. Ball, Ben! to these guys have not stopped singing since the game has begun yeah obviously they're right here like I, I, I don't know why people buy North Stand tickets like this is where the singing comes from no no I don't understand it maybe go main stand next time Newcastle Newcastle have got a corner a lot of the North Stand don't think it was I actually think it was a corner to be fair Set piece defending now. Let's make sure we get this right. Eh? Roy's broke on this. That's fine. Right. 
away. Uh-oh. Shit. Oh my god, good save, Neto! That's a bloody good save actually from Neto. Oh my god. You know what? You know, that had a took a deflection, but he did well to adjust either yeah. way. I'll make him just in case. Right. Bad half, was it really? It was possibly our best half of football, I'd say, this season. But again, without any real end product, I'd say. We've had a few chances. Yeah. Clive from distance, uh, Semenyo with yeah. a few chances. Yeah, we have, but we've really got to get three points today. We're never going to have a better chance than against existed a lot. I mean, they, they, whether it's me just reading into the situation, but they look like they're dead on their feet, really. So hopefully, as the game goes on, we get more and more chances and eventually one will all pay off. But it's positive, but we need the points. Former side against Newcastle today is the first one that contains a cousin, a son, and a brother of a former Newcastle player, Aaron's Cliver and Tavernier. Wow. Let's win this one. Trivia on back of the net. I know James Tavernier. It's positive, that half was positive, wasn't it? Very positive. It's probably the best 45 minutes we've had this season. Even like Wolves, look back to the Wolves game, we are wondering up at half time, but I don't think we were playing well. But today it's been good. Just need to take our chances, really. I mean, there's no better chance. I mean, Almiron going off as well. I don't really understand who's going down the middle, Is it whether it's Anthony Gordon or Joe Linton, but they keep, they don't seem to know what they're doing, really. I mean, they are short staffed. They are, and they're knackered. They've played so many games. They've been in Germany, and uh, the players, the first team players that are out on the pitch at the moment have played so much football yeah. that they're, you can tell they're knackered. So, second half, if we can just go at them, keep Semenyo going, keep Kleiber going, I think we can win this. I think we can. Teacher's assessment, all right? It's all right, mate. Yeah. It's okay, isn't it? Um, yeah, it's a shame we're not, not ahead because I think um, I think we'd be the better team. And you, you're always worried because you think, oh, Eddie could pull something together for them. But um, we're not, we're not going to get a better opportunity to beat Newcastle. We're not. Uh, they've obviously had another injury. They've literally got no one else to bring on. I think done it. Um, so, yeah, we've, we've got to take this now. Uh, I'd be interested to see what we do if the game continues as it is, if we maybe go oh, I kind of feel like do we get Rothwell on and get a bit more control yeah, I agree. but we've had a few chances mate we've had a few chances I think a few players have stood out this half of ball I mean you know Lewis Cook's done well he's done really well yes yeah, I mean it's vital to have him back if you don't, especially without Scott I think Semenyo caused problems all day doesn't he Slag is running the channel as well I think uh, Celeste Zamani Kelly have done well but do you think the five at the back is is working I mean Tavernier's sort of yeah. not really been in the game as much as I feel as though he should have been yeah it's obviously kind of a uh, with the ball, without the ball, kind of system. So there's times where Kenny clearly goes to left back, um, and then there's times where he tucks in and Tav comes in as a wing back. But Celeste's certainly trying to like be the one to push on and be a bit more aggressive, um, which is probably better than Mepham at. So I get why he's brought in now. Looking at that, um, it's a shame we haven't. Even though we haven't missed him, it's a shame we haven't got Billing just on the edge of the box. Mm, just a mop up. Yeah, and, and just just maybe have a strike. Shots. Yeah, because you worry about without Dom where the goals. It could be a game for someone like a Celeste there to come on and produce a bit of magic at this moment in time I think it'd be one nil either way still a bit worrying but we're never gonna have a better chance and put it this way we're half time there's no way I'm taking a draw okay. we can win this game we can win this game Tom said it let's get back in come on 
We are out for the second half. It's got to be a big half, huge half needed. Ben, I think we can do this. Think we do this. Yeah, we're up for it. Come on. Three nil. It's still on. Right, Newcastle free kick uh, on there on the left hand side here. Just fucking get out, get out, get out. Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god, oh my god. Oh my god. <laughs> Jesus Christ. It's that piece of fending, man. It worries me at times, but we did not. Wow. It's close, but it's alright. since a few seasons ago. Oh, let's take a How long is this one going to take? Five minutes, six minutes. I mean, like, no one claimed for a handball. No yeah. one claimed. No one claimed. Yeah.
the VAR. We've got to look at our phones these days, eh? He still doesn't know. They're committing players high. This is the difference. Look, under O'Neill, we would have sat back at 2 0, whereas now we're going forward. He's wasting a bit more time. I like it. Oh my god! Oh. This is good to watch. Control chaos. Just on the way down, we didn't score. So he runs all in. Sorry, Mike. Delighted, man. Delighted. Haven't stayed for the Eddie Howe loving. I'm sure there was one. I'm guessing there was one. It's all right here or there, right? See you back, Come on. Well, well. We did not quite. We're singing. Here I am. Cams done. You know what? I'm in a celebratory mood. Should we have a beer in the tent? Hello, Thomas. If you um, want 50% off pizzas at El Marino tonight, uh, it's on. Where were, you, uh, where were you on fan cams? Where uh, were you? I looked at the queue, uh, I was dancing around, and I thought, I need a pint. I was also uh, Adam, come down from America. He was chatting to me for ages. Yeah. First came down for a while, three points. So buzzing for him. He's already had a dream, but today he had a nightmare he against AFC Ball with mate, who good. took the game to Newcastle. Mm. We really had to, given the how depleted they were. And I tell you what, mate, I mean, two 0 almost flattered them with the way that we were just free flowing in that second half. We we could we could have had three or four. It did. I mean, in a weird way, I'm kind of obviously you always think oh, we could have got a few more, but I'm happy. Like if it was like five one, I would have gone. Oh, we deserve to clean sheet. So I'm really and for Neto, as we've all said, I couldn't believe he was starting. And he didn't have much to do. I thought everything he did it was just straight at him, and he dealt with it. But that's a conf That's what we need. We need the defence and the goalkeeper to have that confidence boost and the clean sheet. So I was pleased with that um, ultimately. But Sinister, I thought it was brilliant when he came on. He could have got Adric himself, mate. Yeah, um, yeah. There was a few where it was like I think Dango had a shot as well. It's like just trying to score. Yeah, like yeah. he could have just laid it off. Yeah. But it's like you know what? When you've, the game's done, isn't it? Let's have a laugh. Do you know what I mean? By the way, Christie. It's oh my god, his joke. work for him. Mate, the way he was like right. he was putting in sliding tackles right. on the byline, he was doing it up the pitch to prevent him going forward. He was a he was a joke. And if Solanke hadn't scored two, he'd have got man of the match. Yeah, yeah. Um he came over at the end on his own and he got uh stat innovation, which he deserved. Um by the way, I didn't see, but was there an Eddie Howe? Did he, he did <laughs> not really. He, he didn't really no. do a lap of the pitch. We're singing Eddie had a dream in that as we do. I think to be fair to Eddie, he said um last season, didn't he? He said he kept saying it's the first time I've come back. Yeah, first yeah. Time. So he can't do it every time. So but, but yeah, when he was walking off with we Charlie and Eddie, and he oh, won't nah. give us anything. But um, he, I, right, all I'm saying is, can he beat us? <laughs> I don't know if he wants to. Be, I don't know if he's got it in him. Only in the Carabao. Yeah, listen, they were they're it. depleted. Uh, they, oh, like, what are you got? Fifty percent off your pizza as well. Just, just remember, we've <laughs> oh, done that. Yeah. It's unbelievable. Um, <laughs> so, that's so Steve Hensman. Hello, hello. 
but they yeah they're really depleted um, it's, it's similar to um, early kickoff uh, Wolves Tottenham yeah so it's like Tottenham are really depleted they had uh, I think three in the back four were out no Madison but Wolves still got to go and get the job done and they did it and we done exactly the same you know we've, we've got uh, I think I said to you at half time they've got all them injuries but you've got to take advantage otherwise what's the point you go oh we take a point out of this and we would have been looking at it going it looks like a good point but we had a chance to win that and but we got the job done mate and I'll tell you what I'm looking at it now going if we have a little FA Cup run get top 8 um, I'll take it but I'm buzzing for Andoni absolutely buzzing for him I don't want an international break now but yeah. what? Yeah, but don't you know that. what? Sheffield United three points, surely. I know we'll lose one 0 <laughs> <laughs> no, We'll definitely lose to Sheffield United. But by the way, remember I gave you a bit of grief last week when you said you're gonna we're gonna beat Man City, yeah. and I said I want to. You said to me at six twenty one p.m. We just lost six one to Man City. We'll beat Newcastle next week. And do you know what scoreline I said on the preview? So, yeah. Oh, you did actually, did you? I said to you, Tiggs. Oh, come on! <laughs> right, it's been a good day, isn't it? It's been a really wonderful day. Well done on Firecast, by the way. Thank you, it's really cold. Yeah, alright, we'll go now then. Thank you. Like, subscribe, other chairs, three points. Thank you.